AMS 2140, Collecting Spectra Measurements. In this tutorial, I will show you how to collect up to four channels of spectra data simultaneously using the AMS 2140. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Here you see the home screen of the AMS 2140. Start by selecting F7 Advanced Analyze. On the application screen, select F1 Manual Analyze. Here we can define what and how to measure, starting with F1 Set Analyze Mode. From the menu, I will select Spectra and then set the parameters for data collection by selecting F2. First, let's specify the minimum and maximum frequencies. For this tutorial, we will measure from 0 to 2000 Hz with 1600 lines of resolution. Note that you could collect up to 6400 lines of resolution. With these settings, we will have a resolution of 1.25 Hz per line. Next, select F3 Set Averaging. For most measurements, you will use normal averaging. But for advanced troubleshooting, you can select Peak Hold, Synchronous Time or Order Tracking. Those options are referenced in more advanced tutorials. Next, select F5 Set Mode. In normal mode, you can specify the number of averages. In this example, that means every measurement will be repeated four times to calculate an average spectrum. Another option to look at here is the F5 Set Mode. If you select Monitor Mode here, the analyzer will act as a kind of oscilloscope, allowing you to look at the signals in real time. Data collection would continue until you manually stop collecting. Then you have the option to store the data. In this tutorial, we will use Acquire Mode, where collection will stop automatically after the specified number of averages is acquired. Here, F4 Set Window is set to Hanning the default setting for normal vibration data. You would select Uniform for tests using impact hammers or on certain compressor applications. Select F7 TAC Setup to specify the kind of TAC you are using. In this tutorial, we are using a photo TAC, which means we require power. F5 TAC power indicates that the power is on. Photo TAC typically require a positive pulse, so our trigger level is set at 2 volts. To quickly check if the settings are correct, use F10 Show RPM. Here you see that speed information is coming in, so the TAC is working correctly. The F9 Select Trigger determines when data collection will start. If you select Off, collection will start immediately. If you select one of the other options, data collection will begin when the condition exists. For example, TAC trigger means that collection will start with a TAC pulse is measured. Level trigger means collection will start when you hit the minimum amplitude for your vibration signal, and similar with RPM trigger. The F12 input setup is where you specify the sensors to be used. Choose F1 Select Input to indicate how many sensors you will use and how many points you will measure simultaneously. In this example, we will use all four channels. Next, we'll use F7 Sensor Setup to specify the type of sensors used. In this example, Sensor A is an accelerometer with a standard sensitivity of 100 mV per engineering unit, and the power is turned on. Sensor B is identical, and this is correct for our application. Use the Alt key to go to the next screen, and we see that Sensor C and D are set up as displacement probes. These settings are typical of most displacement probes, but always check the manufacturer's data sheet for the exact settings. We will be working with four accelerometers, so these settings will need to change. Use F2 to change the sensor type, F3 to change the sensitivity, and F4 to turn the power on. Repeat these steps with sensor D. While the waveform and spectrum settings are correct for inputs A and B, we need to correct the spectrum units for inputs C and D to velocity using F6 and F12. 
Now the configuration is done, and we can press Enter to collect data. Here you see the data collected as normal averages in Acquire mode. Select F1 Setup menu and use F3 Set Averaging and then F5 to change to Monitor mode. Now you will see the data in a kind of live display, like a four-channel oscilloscope. You can install a cursor on each of the plots. You can also use F6 switch plot type to toggle between plots for each of the four channels, as well as the four plots shown together. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching. Thank you.